what have you started? A uh, little bit of a movement, it seems like. Definitely starting to pick up some steam now. Not so much a movement as a phenomenon. Rocker plates are everywhere, with their own Facebook group and DIY designs sprouting like mushrooms in the darkness. Back in December, the Zwiftcast first reported how ingenious Zwifters, looking for more comfort on their trainers, were beginning to build Chad McNeese's original design. Adding their own flourishes or variations. Since then, the whole rocker plate thing has just exploded, with one Zwifter putting his design into full commercial production and amateur designers offering up their ideas to the Zwift community for comment and finesse. Mike Bobilek is a typical home builder. There's only movement if I instigate movement by swinging left to right. I've been following the rocker plates from Chad and the other designers uh, on the Facebook pages, on the Zwift Riders and Racers page, and decided that I was going to build my own rocker plate. Uh, we knew we had the kicker climb coming out. So I, in my head, I was just stewing, okay, this has to be a bigger rocker plate. The whole bike has to be involved. I drew a couple quick sketches up um, and then just kind of ran with my first plan. It was the full length plate that seemed to both catch people's imagination and just make sense. Mike shared his design with colleague Chip Self, who just happens to own a fabrication company, as well as a couple of bike shops. What, what, what advantages do you see in that, in that full length? It's just more logistically difficult to get on and off the bike when it's four. If you don't have the full platform, you're trying to get on to something that's four or five inches taller than normal. Mm. I'm not super coordinated in the first place, so I don't want to fall off that. <laughs> And, and do, you, do you think it gives a better, a better overall feel? I think it does. I mean, if you look at it from an engineering standpoint, the pivot points are different. So if, uh, if, the plat if the entire platform moves and the bike moves on the platform, then you have a consistent pivot point from front to back. If yeah. the trainer is pivoting, you know, two inches lower than the front tire, then they're going to they're going to react differently. The other big recent development seems to be an emerging consensus around the best way to pivot the plate, with the favoured design being the use of a shaft and pillow or cushion bearings. Rocker pioneer Chad approves. I think that's a great use of that tool. Um, I went a different route with mine mainly because I was trying to just make something that was very easy for other users to um, get access to. But the pillow blocks are actually really nice because they're a ready-made package and uh, just work very nicely once you get it all put together. One Zwifter, Martin Speed, has gone even further, extending the rocking motion to the front of the bike via a full-length shaft, connecting to a separate mini rocker plate, also equipped with bearings. Neat and less bulky. But it's Chip Self who's gone the full nine yards and launched commercial production. The whole first production run is already sold. Wow. Can you tell me how many? Uh, we've got 20 already. Okay. And and do you think the demand is there? It seems like it. I think there's a lot of, I've gotten a lot of messages from people that uh, are kind of waiting to see how the first batch goes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that once, once there are some users out there that are having a good experience, that there'll be more, uh, more demand for it. I think there's a lot of people sitting on the fence right now. And have, I mean, have you got sufficient scale to actually to, to fulfill demand if it gets really, really heavy? We do. Uh, we've actually talked to, with my fabrication guys, and by adding a night crew focused just on these, we think we can produce up to 200 a week. Chip's product, which he's rather cheekily called the Rocker, Hello Wahoo, is retailing at $450 as a full ready-to-go version or $320 as a kit, USA only for now. There's been a tiny bit of pushback on price, but he's confident he's got it right. Uh, the price is just based on what it costs us to build them. There's not much profit margin in there. Uh, there's quite a bit of parts cost in this. I set out to build something using the best parts available. There's a cost to that. Chad's run the rule over chips pricing, and he thinks it's about right. Um, I was uh, kind of surprised, actually. The pricing, just based on where I'd like to see the market, was a little high. Well, ultimately, I think it's very justifiable when you look at the size of the product and what you're actually getting for it. And like you, I was pretty happily surprised that the reception was as good as it was. In truth, the reception to the whole idea has been extraordinary. 
And there's only really one way to end this report. The Zwift community is saying loud and clear, it's only rock and roll, but we like it, like it. Yes, we do.